Okay, question 12, we've got some calculations to complete. Some are easier than others. So, first one, 15 times 100, that's nice and easy. 15 lots of 100, we're going this way, so it's going to be 1500, which is otherwise known as 1500. Job done. Right, the bottom one, okay, 150 divided by 10. Now, some of you may be able to do this in your head, and you might have been told dividing by 10 is just the same as knocking a zero off. It's, it works as long as there's no decimal and as long as there is a zero to actually knock off. But I don't really like that method because if there is decimals involved, then it's not going to help you. And if there's no zero to knock off, it's not going to help you either. So the best way of thinking about that is to actually use place value. So 150 is 100 by tens and no units. Okay, and when we're dividing by 10, we're moving every digit one place backwards to make the number smaller. So this 1 moves into the tens column. This 5 moves one place backwards into the units column. And this 0 moves one place backwards into the tenths column. Remember your decimal point? So that's 15.0. Or in other words, just 15. So that's your answer, 15. Okay. Let's just clear that bit of space there because we'll need that again in a moment. Right then, going on to the other two questions. Now these two are a bit harder because instead of trying to find the answer, we already know the answers are 1500 and 150. We actually need to work in reverse to find the missing part of the question. So this is a mystery number times 10 gives 1500. So if we are going this way to times 10, if we want to go backwards, we've actually got to divide by 10. So we're going to do fifth, start here with 1500 and divide by 10. Again, let's think about place value. So 1500 is 1500. And if we are dividing by 10, we are moving every digit one place backwards to make it smaller. So 1000 becomes 100. 500 becomes 5 tens, no tens becomes no units, and no units becomes no tens. So every digit's moved one place backwards, put your point in. So the final answer for that one has got to be 150, which can go in there. And let's again make some space. We'll probably need that space for the last one. So the last one, again, we've got a mystery number. We're dividing by 100 this time, and out pops 150. So if we're dividing by 100, going this way, when we go backwards the other way, we've got to do the opposite. Well, the opposite of divide by 100 is times by 100. So we've got to do 150 times by 100. So 150 goes in those columns. Times by 100 means we move every digit forward to make it bigger and because we're times by 100 we've got to move it two places forward times by 10 would move one place times by 100 two places times by a thousand three places so times by 100 is two places so this one goes one two into this column this five goes one two into this column this zero goes one two into this column now these two columns are empty, so we've got to fill those in with zeros, and not forgetting your decimal point is there. So this final number says 15,000, so this answer is 15,000, and that's the way to do it. Always think about place value and column headings and moving the digits left and right.